Hello there. Hope everybody's doing great on this Wednesday evening. Welcome back to another episode with the Deal Maker. Today I want to talk about my friend, one of the best basketball players ever lived, Caitlin Clark. Well, I bet the WNBA and all the players in the WNBA, they're a I'm not going to say I bet. I know. They're wear, wearing egg on their face now, aren't they? Yeah, they hated her. Hated her guts. She was overrated. She wasn't what everybody said she was going to be. She was going to be a bust. <laughs> Guess what? The WNBA had better ratings than it has since its existence. It actually is training to make a profit for the first time since its existence without the help of the NBA. And I would have to say, who did that? Well, maybe it's the play of the, the GOAT, the best female basketball player of all time. And everybody can say, ah, she ain't won nothing yet. This, that, right, go somewhere. Stick your head in the bucket. Just go stick your head in the bucket. Because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I told y'all. I told y'all. The attendance is up in every ring. The income is up in every arena that she plays in. The players hate her, but yet their incomes are going up because of what I just said, because of her. And then she goes out there as a rookie and puts up gaudy numbers, even with y'all beating and banging on her. So at the end of the day, why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? I mean, give credit where credit's due. And then you're going to say, we know why she's so popular and it has nothing to do with her skill? Hmm. Negative Ghost Rider. Negative Ghost Rider. Her skill has everything to do with it. I've said it since the day she got drafted. She was going to put the WNBA on the map. And she's done just that. Highlights and lowlights. She's put the WNBA back relevant again. People want to watch the product. And that's everybody included, but especially because of her, because they want to see what she's going to do. Because she can shoot like no other. She really can. And as the year progressed, she got better and better and better. So the WNBA had no choice. Unanimous. Unanimous across the board to vote for her for rookie of the year. So... All I've got to say is this. Who's got the last laugh right now? Who's got the last laugh? I believe that would be Caitlin Clark. Y'all have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't matter. Thank you.